Good morning. Uh, today is April 26, Sunday. Uh, it's a beautiful day today. Uh, so let us please uh, put your hands together in Gasho and recite Namu Amida 10 times. <laughs> Namu Good morning, uh, once again, aloha. Uh, thank you very much for watching this uh, YouTube channel. Uh, yesterday, uh, Hawaii had uh, three, only three uh, positive cases. And uh, we, I think we are doing a good job uh, so far uh, by washing hands frequently and stay home, uh, doing good. But uh, I think everybody in the world uh, have to do, keep doing so that we can win the coronavirus. So once again, thank you very much for staying at home and for people uh, who work on the essential jobs. Uh, thank you very much uh, for working hard for us. And I really appreciate everybody doing their part, doing my job, you know, doing your job is very important. Uh, recently, I went to eye doctor because uh, from beginning from this year, I had kind of floaters in my eyes. And the fruit uh, is in the beginning, it's like mosquito flying in my eyes. And uh, I actually, I noticed something wrong, definitely something wrong, because I always see mosquito, kind of small bug in my eyes, and oh, that's not good. But I had no chance to go to the dentist, uh, not dentist, <laughs> to the eye doctor, you know. So, uh, but the, the small mosquito become a little bigger and sometimes like cockroaches. So I actually, oh, this is really uh, uh, dangerous. So I was very afraid uh, that I might lose my sight. So I called uh, eye doctor and to make appointment. Uh, my kind of this situation, pandemic situation, uh, I was not sure if I could able to get appointment to go there, but fin uh, finally, unfortunately, 
uh, I had an appointment and then I went there. And then when I went there at the parking, the office was closed and then called the office. And But the gentleman came out and then I had a chance uh, to be checked my eyes. So uh, after taking some tests, uh, grad, I'm so glad that, uh, it's just aging. <laughs> So fruit are, are kind of natural. So I'm very glad uh, my eyes are very uh, okay. Uh, also, I have to see, I have to get used to the floaters, but I understand oh, this is a part of aging. So I'm kind of relieved to know that my floaters are kind of aging. And as for you know aging, uh, I think uh, I'm also getting hard of hearing. <laughs> Out of hearing. <laughs> so I actually assume the reason why I'm so hard of hearing is because Kauai is a very calm and peaceful island and not many uh, varieties of sound uh, like Tokyo or you know big city even Honolulu all the sound you know keep going and then the city never sleep right people keep active uh, all night that uh, city life and on the, as compared to city life, Kauai is much slower and then uh, very peaceful and even night, nothing to do, go outside. So, except the bonus. <laughs> the bonus time I go out, but uh, actually uh, that all the time I stay home. Uh, anyway, uh, Kauai very, uh, not many noises. And then only noise in the beginning was buzzing was uh, rooster. <laughs> Kawa is very famous for its roosters and chickens, wild chicken, so-called wild chicken. And the rooster, in the beginning, when I came to here, uh, I was assigned Jodo Mission uh, Koroa uh, in 1990, uh, 1990, 1990, December. Wow, rooster <laughs> started to be active in the midnight and then koke koko, yeah. <laughs> and then kind of, it was buzzing, but after 20 years, I don't hear anything about the chicken. You know, the fact is actually rooster keep koke or kuka do do do, you know, every morning they do, all the time they do. But because I get used to the sound, now I can ignore the sound. Same happened to Jodo Mission Hawaii at the Betsuin. Uh, the Betsuin located nearby the freeway, very busy street highway and the cars keep going even at night keep going at the beginning my assignment uh, started in uh, 97 uh, august so in the beginning was kind of annoying and uh, wow that's so noisy you know even at night but uh, uh, as time passed by like one year two years and, and then i got used to the sound and then i was able to forget about the sound, you know, at the time. But now, when I go to bed, <laughs> I hear the sound because now uh, I forget, you know, how I, how I got used to do it. So, in our everyday life, uh, with a floater or hearing noise, um, I think uh, to get used to is very important, natural, and we have ability. And anyway, why uh, I'm getting hard of hearing is because. Our eyes has uh, so much ability to uh, hear the mosquito sound, flying mosquito, and also the sound of gun or you know, cannon or so much noise, so much difference. We can naturally adjust to hear the sound, the best sound, right? So by hearing various type of the sound, uh, we can always train our hearing. However, when I moved to Kauai, and actually many people on Kauai are kind of having a hard of hearing is because I think not many varieties of the sound and we only hear the very quiet sound. So if you so get used to the quiet sound, we might lose the ability of hearing, right? So this is just like an astronaut uh, in the space. The, the longer they stay, the more uh, uh, prominent the ability to walk is lost. So uh, I think uh, mass 
you know, going to the Mars, travel to the Mars is very uh, good uh, mission, but it takes so much time. And then uh, one time I remember NASA was experiment that uh, uh, people lying down all the time without standing up all the time. And then how do they affect the, you know, the ability of walking can be lost or you know, the ability. Uh, so that was the experience. And then I think uh, the, I saw the uh, article about the NASA was looking for the person for the experiment. And it says that uh, you can earn money uh, just by sleeping, just by sleeping. Oh, it's kind of easy job, just sleeping on the bed. You know, they provide food, they provide internet, everything. But uh, after so many months of experiment, uh, we might lose the ability of walking. So to use the ability constant. So as I get older or, you know, you get older, we sometimes uh, think it's hard to work. Uh, I'm not actually that old, but uh, if you think it's hard to work, but if you stop walking, if you stop re rehabilitation or, you know, do efforts, you cannot walk. So to constant efforts, uh, actually, I think uh, uh, very, very important. Anyway, uh, today I talked about uh, Honzege. Uh, Honzege is like Mida Honzegan Monjo Santo Eko Sokusho Mushoshi. So in Japanese, Mida no Honzegan wa Gokuraku no Jihomon Nari, Jozan Hitoshiku Eko Shite Sumiyaka ni Mushoshi no Shosen. So this uh, Honzege is a uh, verse of original vow. So Honze is like, uh, Honze is original vows or essential vows of Amida Buddha. And the Ge means the verse. So the verse of original vows of Amida Buddha is a translation of Honzege. The reason why I picked up this verse uh, is because I had a doubt about this verse uh, uh, because uh, in English, uh, uh, like uh, uh, the original vow of Amida Buddha, uh, an essential gate to the ultimate bliss. May this merit be transferred equally to enable us to immediately attain birth in the pure. Once again, the original vows of Amida Buddha, an essential gate to the ultimate bliss of Amida Buddha. May this merit be transferred equally to enable us to immediately attain birth in the pure. That's the meaning of Honzege. And do you have a question or do you have doubt about this saying? It's because the original vow immediately attain birth in the pure. It's talking about, we understand the original vows of Amida Buddha are essential gate. Through the Amida enable us to equally to immediately attain birth in the pure. So immediately attain birth in the pure. Is that, do you want to go pure and <laughs> immediately? <laughs> Actually, I don't want to go, you know. So going to the Amida Buddha line is that you die. We die and we go, we reborn. So if you want to go immediately, it's not, <laughs> not sounds good. And this is kind of, uh, I recall me that uh, the famous uh, commencement speech by Steve Jobs, the founder of uh, Apple, uh, you know, no one wants to die. No one wants to die. And even people who want to go to heaven don't want to die to get there. That kind of famous speech, right? So no one wants to die. Even people who want to go to heaven don't want to die to get there. That's our uh, feeling. So immediately attain birth in the pure land. That, no, 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 please. I want to live this life more. <laughs> as long as I can pursue the happiness, I want to stay this alive. Also, we know, you know, the ultimate Please, the Amida Buddha Pura is such a wonderful, the most excellent place for us to live. But uh, we don't want to go to immediately. And how we understand this immediately, you know, I had a kind of, as uh, we started uh, chant English, 
I had a question immediately. No, 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 I don't want to go to immediately. But uh, now I got the answer, the answer. But before talking about my possible answer, I want to share, uh, it's actually a very common question, even like Steve Jobs, you know, even people who want to go to heaven don't want to die to get there. It's actually very natural. And it happened to uh, Master Shinda. It's a, a disciple of our master Hone, and he had uh, some disciple. And then it is said that uh, one of the disciples, Yuyen, uh, wrote about what Shinran Shoni said. It's a very short writing. It's a short essay written by Yuyen, and it's called the title is Tan Nisho. Tan Nisho. And in this Tan Nisho, there is a question and answer between Yuyen and Master Shinran about this. And Tan Nisho is actually written uh, uh, in the purpose, like the title, Tan, is like lamentable, uh, to be sad. And Ni is like E, is uh, difference. So it is like uh, mm, to be lament uh, of the different wrong idea of Shinda Shori. So the intention, intention of the Tan Nisho is that to the right teaching by not wrong teaching. And the right teaching he wants to transmit to the later generations. That's the uh, content of the Tan Nisho. And in that Tan Nisho, uh, in the chapter nine, is a very famous and very uh, remarkable, uh, as Dr. Alfred Broom uh, once wrote about uh, writing about Tan Nisho and as well as, well as a translation, English translation. So it's in. Uh, uh, BDK America website. Uh, thank you very much, uh, BDK America, for writing, uh, for putting uh, Dr. Broom's book and the translation of Tan Nisho. So I want to read this translation. When I ask the master, even when I say the Nembutsu, I cannot really say that I feel like dancing for joy. And I find that I'm in no hurry to get to the pure land. Why should this be so? He answered. So kind of question. Nembutsu or going to the pure land is the ultimate bliss. So it should be happy, dancing for joy. You know, we call it yuyaku kan. Yuyaku, nowadays modern Japanese, yuyaku kan. It's a, like a dancing for joy, excitement, such excitement to go to the Piora because that's the ultimate bliss. However, I don't have such a feeling and I don't want to be in hasty to go to the Piora. That's an honest uh, uh, question. And then master, what master said was uh, very true and be honest, very honest and very remarkable. I seen that have also had the doubt, had this doubt. And now you Yembo are the feeling the same way. Oh, now you are the feeling the same way. I had the, this doubt already. Me too. Me too. I have the doubt. <laughs> that uh, Master, Hol, Master Shinan said. And then why we don't want to go immediately to the pure land? And why we are not so excited to go to the pure land? Is that Master Shinda explained that? It is because of our blind passions. Bonno is the desires that we want to stick to this life. And these blind passions make us prevent to go to immediately to the pure land. At the same time, prevent us to dancing for joy. So, however, because this is Amida's invitation, it's not us we want to go to Pure Land. It actually, Amida Buddha and invite everyone to be born, to become to my land, right? So it is in accordance with Amida Buddha's vow. So um, actually, uh, whether you have such a blind passions, you have desire, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And Hone Shonin realized, uh, Shina Shonin realized that uh, even such a blind passion we have, but Amida Buddha uh, offered help, you know, and made vows, made vows 
uh, to save everybody. Such a great vow. Uh, so Shinra Shonin, after learning uh, Master uh, Amida Buddha's original vows, uh, he was deeply uh, his gratitude. He, he actually was able to deepen the gratitude uh, to Amida Buddha. So that was little. So if you search Tanyi uh, uh in English or Vedic America, uh, there is a uh, translation by uh, Dr. Alfred Bloom, the late Dr. Bloom. And the name of the book is A Commentary with the Text of Tanyi Shou. Strategies for Modern Living. So that's the title. And the entire book is uh, on the website. So please check. So anyway, uh, so this is our brand passion, uh, actually, to prevent go to, uh, prevent to wish to go to Kyora immediately. And I actually uh, understand it a little differently. I thought of, uh, I thought of the meaning of immediately. And other translations were speedy or quickly. And actually, isogite or sumiyakani in Japanese are written, uh, often see in our whole nation's writing. So, sumiyakani and then uh, isogite in a hurry and quickly is actually what Master Honen uh, wanted to tell us, right? So I thought about what's the meaning of immediately and what is the meaning of quickly. Uh, I deepen my understanding of the immediately. And usually immediately is immediately in no time, you know, as soon as possible. That's the meaning, not other meaning. But uh, if we think of situation, depending on the situation, the meaning of immediately can be different. So one of the examples that I thought was like in the morning, like you are a student, uh, you wake up late, you woke up late, and mother said, oh, Kosen, you have to go immediately go to school, right? Because I woke up late, and mom said, oh, Kosen, you woke up so late, you have to go to school immediately. And this immediately means, what means? Oh, in no time quickly, speedy, right? However, the real meaning of immediately is that you should omit your everyday routine without washing, washing uh, face, brushing teeth, eating breakfast, namanda. <laughs> and of course, <laughs> namanda is most important, but uh, you omit your routine and to go to school immediately. So immediately means at the, at the time is that actually you should skip this routine. So immediately is immediately in no time or quickly or speedy, whatever. But the real meaning of immediately is that you should skip that kind of process, right? And to, to go to school immediately as soon as possible. So if we think about uh, immediately in this case, is that we have so much process, like kaijo is a traditional three, four discipline, is precept, uh, meditation, and wisdom. It's a one, one to three steps, right? And then, but uh, immediately means that without having this process, you go to the program. So, uh, I understand, oh, immediately can be easy, 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 because you don't need to have such a uh, process of traditional uh, teaching, like traditional practices. You don't need to do, you can omit, you can shorten, right, to do, to go to the pure land. So, so immediately can mean that, uh, easily, easily, or without having such a uh, practices. So if we think this way, that Amida Buddha's essential vow, uh, original vows are the essential gate to the ultimate bliss, that's right. And may this uh, merit
be transferred equally to enable us to easily attain Amida Buddha. Then I think uh, that makes sense uh, because immediately it's not talking about time, but uh, we can shorten or omit uh, all the difficult process. We can leave aside the process. Then uh, we understand, uh, makes sense. So I think uh, always when we read uh, Buddhist sutras, of course, uh, the age are different, like old times and modern times, different. However, the truth, the truth should make sense. Should, truth should be make sense. Yeah. So otherwise, uh, uh, I cannot recommend Jodo Buddhism because Jodo Buddhism is makes sense, is making sense, making sense. That's why we can recommend now people, even now, after so many years later, we can uh, recommend and teach and practice. And without uh, teaching, uh, can't make sense, cannot make sense. How can I uh, teach? So that's my... Uh, understanding of immediately. So immediately, what it really means is like easily. So our Jodo Buddhism, the main goal is to depart this world of transmigration, birth and death. So this is like shoji o hanare, shoji o hanare. So depart the world of transmigration, birth and death. And so depart means that to go to the pure land. And this is immediately isogite or sumiyakani that the Hone Shonin written is like that without having difficult practices. You don't need to do uh, such difficult practices, but call name easily uh, to choose Amida Buddha and to say Namo and Namo so easily. That's what Hone Shonin uh, wants uh, to teach us. So that is today I shared uh, my understanding and uh, this is not written on the book. <laughs> so sometimes it may be wrong, uh, it may be wrong, it may be true, we don't know, I'm not sure, but I feel uh, the understanding of immediately uh, can be easily or without having a difficult process. That's the meaning of uh, uh, I understand immediately. So anyway, uh, Honzege, uh, uh, so <laughs> oh, yeah. So, okay, I uh, actually, uh, next time, uh, I talk about company. So I tried to make it short, <laughs> but time, too long. So uh, I think uh, it's now about 25 minutes. Uh, and someone should be maybe 15, uh, 10 minutes. Would be good. So anyway, uh, Please, uh, I continue live streaming on uh, next week, May 3rd, May 3rd. And also May 1st, uh, Friday, I will join Nembu to Vide, 24 hours uh, Vide, uh, sponsored by Kanjin, Devon, Shodo, Tuchia. So I will join uh, in the Nembu to practice, one hour practice on Friday, uh, starting from Rahaina Jodo mission, uh, six o'clock Hawaii time, Friday uh, this week. And then after that seven o'clock, I will join in the neighborhood's practice. So please join. Uh, all the information should be my YouTube, under YouTube. So please check with uh, the uh, YouTube. And also uh, recently I had a report that Hakara Jodo Mission, uh, they decided to continue the Memorial Day service. And they actually, uh, in memory, they're important. And then by having time difference, People visit, not uh, avoid a uh, big crowd by individually going, offering flower and prayer, go to, you know, that's a good way to continue uh, our service. So there is always we can do, and then let's uh, uh, be strong, let's be strong, <laughs> and whatever we can do, and then stay home, wash hands. <laughs> And then let's win the battle with coronavirus. Uh, again, once again, thank you very much. E. Okay, uh, today, page three. Page three. Uh, so I'm using this Otome book. Uh, 
And uh, this book is also uh, available uh, um, at my www.koroajodo.com. Uh, so please check. Uh, also, if you can send me email, uh, kosenishikawa at hotmail.com, I can send you a PDF file of this Otsume book. So please let me know. And page three, uh, aspiration. Amida Buddha, the awakened one, the most honorable one, here we are gathered in your presence with deepest reverence and adoration in our hearts. We place our whole trust in you and in your teaching, and we do honestly resolve to be good Buddhists and follow the sacred path you have shown us so that we may be born in your pure land to attain the happiest and the most peaceful realm of Nibbana. Namo Amida. Page 5, Bandana Tisarana.
I am a link in Amida Buddha's golden chain of love that stretches around the world. I must keep my link bright and strong. I will try to be kind and gentle to every living thing and protect all who are weaker than myself. I will try to think pure and beautiful thoughts, to say pure and beautiful words, and to do pure and beautiful deeds. Knowing that on what I do now depends my happiness or misery. May everything in Amida Buddha's golden chain of love become bright and strong. And may we all attain perfect peace. Namu Amida Page 9. Eight for task. The Buddha teaches us that we may become pure and holy by following the rules he laid down for us. Let us repeat them and also remember at all times what they mean. First, right understanding. Let us run and try to understand the truth. Second, right purpose. Let us try always to do what is right. Third, right speech. Let us be truthful and kind in all we say. False, right conduct. Let us try to behave ourselves at all times. Fifth, right livelihood. Let us earn our living in a way which will not harm anyone. Sixth, right endeavor. Let us constantly try to become better. Seventh, right thought. Let us cherish our thoughts because our words and our actions arise from our thoughts. Eight, right meditation. Let us think often of Amida Buddha and repeat the sacred name, Namu Amida Buddha. May the sacred presence of Amida, who said he would abide in his teaching, be our guide. May we follow his glorious example and tread with unfaltering step this noble path until we too shall attain enlightenment. Namu Amida Buddha. Page 14, Sangujo. I have done in the past are all derived 
from my inherent greed, anger, and division, born of my conduct, words, and thoughts. I now repent them all. Nami 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 The unsurpassed, profound, and wondrous Dharma, even after hundreds of thousands of million eons, is difficult to encounter. We now here receive and uphold it. May we understand the true message of the Kasagata. She said it. Ah, sorry. Page 33, Tambutsuji. in praise of Buddha. The luminous face is majestic and his sublime powers unsurpassed. To such radiant splendor, nothing compares. 
in the sun, moon, and pressure jewel that shine so luminously, all become obscure and dark like the black ink. The Tasagata's appearance transcends this world and is beyond compare. Your great voice of perfect enlightenment resounds in the ten direction. Your conduct, learning, diligence, concentration, wisdom, and majestic virtues are unparalleled. They are extraordinary and wondrous. In profound clarity and virtuous mindfulness on the oceans of teaching of all the Buddhas, you have mastered their depths and exhausted their secrets to the end. Ignorance, greed, and anger, the world and the world is forever without. Among humans, you have the valor of a lion. Your sublime virtues are infinite. Your accomplishments are vast, and your wisdom profound and wondrous. Your radiant light with its majestic quality shakes the great southern whole world. I vow to become a Buddha equal to you, sacred Dhamma King. Transcending birth and death, I will be all to emancipation, generosity, resolve, adherence to precepts and diligence, as well as in meditation and wisdom, I shall be supreme. I resolve to become a Buddha to carry out this vow to all who are afraid and in fear. I will bring them great peace. In we there are Buddhas, hundreds, thousands, millions, innumerable great sages, as many as the sons of the Ganges. I shall make offerings to them all, to every one of these Buddhas. Nothing will be like my seeking the way, resolute and fair. So even if, like the sons of the Ganges, all the Buddha worlds, again, consist of uncountable infinite lands, my radiant light shall completely illuminate and pervade through all these realms. Thus, my devotional practices and sublime powers will be impossible to measure. May I become a Buddha whose land is more sublime. May all who are there be wondrous and unique. And may this place of practice be supreme. This land will be like ultimate enlightenment and beyond compare. I will have compassion for all beings and emancipate them all. Those from the ten directions from, uh, who come to be born in my land, their minds will be joyful and pure. Having reached my land, they will be immediately experience happiness and serenity. May the Buddha believe in me and be my true witness. I bow before you to just dedicate my strengths in achieving this aspiration. The world honored ones of the ten directions having an impeded wisdom. May they forever bestow this honor and know my will to practice. Even if my body must undergo all suffering and pain, I will carry out my practices with diligence and endurance to the end without regret. Honzege, page 23. Japanese. 
願わくは弟子と明星の時に望んで心転動せず心釈然せず心失念せず新人にもろもろの苦痛なく新人気楽にして全常に無がごとく少女減念したまい仏の本願に乗じて阿弥陀仏国に常本を上司しめたまえ他の国にいたり終わって、六人数を得て、実行会に帰って、苦の主張を苦笑せん。国崩壊、月にあばかがんもまた格のごとくならん。骨眼死をわん、死神に阿弥陀仏に起名したてまし。ページ75。Bars for awakening, awakening aspiration. Aspire, my disciples, at the moment of death for your minds not to be disturbed, distressed, and lose sight of your aspiration for bars in the pure land, so that your bodies and minds will be without any suffering and pain, and will be filled with joy as if entering a meditative state. With the sacred assembly before you, you will be received. Into the highest grade of birth in Amida Buddha's pure land through the original vow. After reaching the other shore, you will attain the six spiritual powers and will be able to enter the ten lands to help and guide all those in suffering. The sky of the Dharma realm is exhausted. Our aspirations should be also like this awaken to this aspiration and wholeheartedly. Take refuge in Amida Buddha. Page 24. Shoyakumon. Komyo Henjo Nipo Sekai Nembu Shujo Teshu Kusha. The infinite light of Amida Buddha illuminates the ten directions of the world, and all who call upon his name shall be received and never abandoned. <laughs> I revere the king of the great compassionate Baza Amida Buddha, the dispatcher and founder of the teaching Shakamuni Buddha, all the Buddhas, as many other sons of the Ganges in the six directions, 
Canon, Seishi, all the great bodhisattvas, the world assemblies of Arthur Green, the beings of the pure and great ocean, and the three treasures and the great compassion. May there be harmony beyond the heavens with the sun and the moon shining brightly. May the wind and rain be timely and disaster and calamity not arise. May nations be bountiful, people safe, and armies and weapons not to be used. Let us reveal about and humanity and cultivate respect and humility. Our high patriarch formula, the great master Shantao, founder, the great master, Enko, Tonzen, Ejo, Kokaku, Jikyo, Meishu, Ajun, Honi, Daishi, Honen, Shonin. The second patriarch, national teacher, Daisho, Shoju, Shoko, Shonin. The third patriarch, the recording and meditation master, Kishu, Yoju, Shonin. The light of transmitting the pure land of the three countries and all the great patriarchs by realizing the compassionate blessings. なみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみなみ
and virtues to be equally bestowed upon all. And may we together develop the aspiration for enlightenment to achieve verse in the pure land of peace and bliss. Julian. Namu Ami Dabi 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 Page 27 So divisions are I honestly vow to extinguish them all. However, immeasurable the Buddha's teachings are I honestly vow to comprehend them all. However, incomparable enlightenment is I honestly vow to attain it by all means. I sincerely wish to share the blessing with all beings. Together we are born into the pure land of ultimate bliss to achieve the way of the Buddha. Sanshoran Nami Ami Nami 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 Just 
ページ7、念仏。ありがとうございます。Thank you very much for joining in the service. I wonder you might notice this form over here. This is my office. This is my office. No, no, I'm just kidding. Actually, I last week I forgot to explain about this form. This is an analog form. Uh, Kawaii experienced hurricane uh, Iniki in September 11, 92. There's a big uh, severe damage Kawaii received. And at the time, the analog phone, non digital analog, worked. Or this is the only one because of no electricity. So most of Kawaii houses、uh, have this analog telephone. So in this high technology, this kind of、uh, tool is also very important. But <laughs> I understand many people now use a cell phone. <laughs> Not many people have a telephone line. Anyway,、uh, uh, thank you very much for、uh, joining in the service.、Uh, oh, I, I should read this one. Ah, Namu Amida, ah, Maya san, sensei, konnichiwa. Ah, Hayashi san, ah, konnichiwa. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, oh, oh, Joan san, ah, thank you very much. Oh, Erin san, Namu Amida. Thank you very much. Arigato gozaimasu.、Uh, thank you. Have a great day. Next week, thank you. Yes. <laughs> 